I'm Colin Fitzgerald here with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to take a look at a 2021 2442 BS Rockwood Ultralight Fifth Wheel. Uh, this is a new floor plan from Rockwood. It's the first one I've ever had. Um, it's a very small, as you can see, fifth wheel, but it has test two slides. It's actually got a true bed slide, so very unique. Um, I kind of compare it almost like having like a mini light, a Rockwood mini light floor plan in a fifth wheel. Um, very neat. So I want to make a video on this because I haven't ever made one before, and I assume there's not very many videos of this out there. Um, before I get started, I'm trying to point this out in my videos because I'm getting uh, more views than I used to. Um, I can't cover everything in this video. This is meant to be a pretty quick walkthrough. This is not meant to be an hour and a half long detailed presentation. Um, I will forget something. I am human, so unfortunately that will happen. But good news, if you click the link in the bio, in the description, excuse me, link in the description, you can go to a listing on our website. And you'll see more information on the specs of it. There's pictures we put up. Uh, the options are listed. Furthermore, you can go to Rockwood's website and find even more information. So if I miss something, do please forgive me. I will probably say something wrong, but I'll do my best to try to remember everything that I can. So we're going to start. We're going to go inside first. It's 2442 BS. They call it a rear living room. So you'll kind of see it's kind of like a hybrid rear kitchen, rear living room. And we're going to go in. We're going to go to our right, go up to the bedroom first, and then come back down. So um, pretty typical. You know, here's our steps going up. They're not carpeted. We do not, we do not want carpet our steps. So walk up. Here you go. Give the top deck. And here is the main bedroom. So again, this is really cool. This has a bed slide. Um, you know, Obviously, the ultralights generally just have a, a wardrobe slide. This has a bed slide, so it's very spacious in here. Um, night stands on both sides of the bed, little decorative headboard, windows on both sides. These do have roller shades uh, throughout, as you can see right there. There's lots of space as well. Everybody usually wants to see that. You know, it's easy to get uh, in and out of the bed. Very small rise here to the right of the bed. Pretty typical in smaller fifth wheels uh, to have that instead of having a true flat floor. Uh, there is storage below this bed. So nice set up there there's a little table that we'll look at in a second uh it goes out there on the outside of the uh of the unit so nice hydraulic struts there aluminum aluminum frame on your bed base one of those rockwood signature uh building things that they always harp on so and up here at the front of course because of that bed slide big wall of storage so over here to the right nice big storage area here uh, there's some drawers here as well as you can see some great storage here to the right and then to the left is more traditional closet storage there and it goes down there's a little hanger as you can see uh, there's some drawers even below right there all right and i like the window the mirrors excuse me a little decorative um window pane look to it there this is a 50 amp unit you could add a second air if you wanted as you can see there's a sticker the bracing's already there i mean this is not a massive unit one air should be more than sufficient but some people like to have you know a second air as backup or whatever so you could do that if you wanted at the foot of the bed uh, there's a big set of drawers um you got the amount of tv there on the wall there's a tv hook up above that two windows on either side of that i like that for natural light um, notice this is a Rockwood, something they always do. You have crank out style windows. We do like that. And then there's no carpet on the main floor they expect you to walk on. You know, it's all vinyl flooring. Uh, there's a door to go out and in. It's not just a curtain or a sliding door. It's a, it's a real door. Um, one of the small things Rockwood does I love is a little magnetic holder back there. The door stays in that position. And then back to the right, here is our bathroom. So very nice bathroom. I didn't turn the lights on. Let me get the switches. So we've got a big shower, uh, and that shower does have a seat in it, shelving built into it, hanging storage, and a skylight. And then to the left of that is a nice linen closet. So and we, we sell some fifth wheels that are much bigger than this that don't even have any of this much storage. So I think they did a great job. Um, again, there's like four of these big storage compartments, hidden hinges, I love that. Um, these are solid wood doors, so high quality doors, little little more storage there. Rockwood, always going the extra mile trying to find the best use of space. I'm um, a foot flush toilet down there, and then back to the right, here is your sink, storage below it, and then a medicine cabinet above. Uh, I've started seeing this light right there. They've started adding that in. I don't know if I noticed it probably a couple months ago, but 
I like that. It's on its own switch, so I can turn off the overhead lights and then just have it on at night, maybe. So a nice setup there. Oh, and it is a true medicine cabinet, by the way, not just a mirror on the wall. All right, so going back out, in the hallway here is the main control panel. So you've got most of your switches. You might want to pause and just look at this if you like to see what all is on here, but pretty typical. Light switches, awning switches, slide out switches, water heater switches, monitor panel, all that good stuff located right there. Um, you've got options for the wireless control app. Uh, you got options for solar if you want to go that route. You got your ceiling fan switch here. So um, all of that stuff right here, nice and neat. All right, and this is looking from the steps. This is the rear of the unit. So I'm just going to kind of slowly go around here. Somebody's going to tell me, you need to back up to see more. Well, this isn't just a massive unit. So I'm doing my best with what I've got here. So really cool. Um, perfect, perfect couples coach. You could, if you wanted, you know, get a trifold sofa there. If you maybe had kids or grandkids that might go with you, but of course, I mean, we're expecting somebody to buy this and it'd be a couple. So, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we got the theater seats because it makes more sense for the general general floor plan. So, looking back toward the front here, uh, just a wall of storage. This is a nice little countertop here for, I don't know, air fryer, pressure cooker, instant pot, whatever you want to put there. Lots of different storage, cabinet doors. I like these glass inserts. And these are pretty big cabinets, as you can see. I mean, that's, that's fairly deep. Uh, and then of course they're tall as well. I like the crown molding, very pretty up there. Again, one air already on it, it's ducted. There's a ceiling fan also, as you can see right there. Oh, the slide itself, always try to point this out with Rockwood. Um, notice, this is a flush floor slide. This is a full depth slide, and it's, just, it's a full, we call a full height. This is a big slide. This isn't a basic slide. This is a rack and pinion, which is my favorite mechanism. Very good quality, very well built, very spacious slide. Again, theater seats. Um, a couple things about these, these do have lumbar support. That's what these little switches are you're seeing. Uh, you've got a reclining ability with there. You could pull that. Um, you could fold this back up in the middle if you wanted. Or you could have it down as a more traditional theater seat. You've got outlets and USB ports here. So that's that. And then in the kitchen area itself, big wall of refrigerator, uh, excuse me, refrigerators, not refrigerator, storage. Your pantry here to the right. I mean, just a ton of storage there. Our refrigerator, you know, we do have those raised panel fronts on it to match the rest of the cabinetry. At the back, there's your sink, flush mount sink covers. You got a flush mount stove top cover to the left of that. This is a really big countertop um, for any unit, but especially this size unit. So nice big countertop. Oven below, again, lots of different cabinets and drawers. Um, lots above that as well. Again, I like the I like the glass inserts. I think it's very pretty in the in the cabinets. TV here uh, mounted into this entertainment center. It's directly across from your theater seats. So when you're sitting down, you have a great line of sight. And then you got these bar stools here. Really nice bar stools. And there's actually a bar that they're sitting at. Sometimes I laugh. I see bar stools in RVs, and it's, I mean, there's no nothing for it to go up underneath. This is a good size bar. I mean, it hangs over as you can see in a sufficient amount. So. It's a very nice setup. They did a good job allowing for space there. All right. And I'm going to go right here. You can look at this. You want to pause. This Rockwood's been putting these in every unit. We love these. Um, it kind of summarizes stuff that I, I can't I can't possibly include everything in this video. This video would be 40 minutes long if I went through everything. So this is a very good, just general um, overview of why Rockwood's building really the, the best travel trailer on the market um, in their price range. So that's that. Let's go back outside. Take a look at some features there. Uh, a couple things I always point out uh, when I get to Rockwoods on the entry door, we do have the more ride step above steps. These are the quad steps as well, so it's even better than just the little triples. Um, we have a wide doorway and we have the key lock system, so all these compartment doors and the entry door use the same key. No more keeping up with, you know, four different keys for every different uh, compartment. So simple, easy to use. Big awning on this. It is as big as they could possibly put. Big electric awning. Frameless windows with dark tint on them. I think that contrast with the tan look is really sharp myself. Big storage. That, I'm going to show you that from the other side. So big storage compartment there. Six gallon dual gas and electric water heater. Um, three things that the tires Rockwood does that it sets them apart. We got a Goodyear Endurance tire. We got a Dexter axle. And we got a tire pressure monitoring system all standard from Rockwood. So 
again, just going the extra mile, do whatever they can to make it easy for the customer. Uh, this is a little area that is kind of multi-use. You've got TV hookups. You've got this little rail. That's where that table mounts that I showed you below the bed. You can mount that table there if you want. And then I think right here is where, if I remember right, yeah, you got this little outside spray port. So kind of like a, I don't know, a substitute for an outside kitchen in a way with the water and gas hookups, things of that nature, TV hookup. So a nice little feature. Outside speakers there below the awning, as you can see. Uh, on the back, there is a ladder on the back for easy roof access. Bonded rear wall, none of that free-hung fiberglass that looks cheap. They don't do that. Um, you do have a receiver on the back for a storage rack if you needed to add that. It is prepped for a wireless backup camera. And that wind's getting up, so sorry if it's making some noise. But as you can see, there is a backup camera bracket. You can put a backup camera on it if you choose to. 50 amp service with a detachable power cord. Here's those two slides on this side of it. There's your fresh tank fill up. Little things Rockwood does that I like. Just putting a little light out here. They know this is where a lot of people are gonna be spending time hooking stuff up. So they put a light out here to make it convenient. So I'm gonna open this up. Notice, slam latch, motorhome style compartment doors with magnetic compartment door holders. Here's that front compartment. It is huge. Um, there's the griddle over there. They do come with a griddle. It's a very big compartment. So there's a little inline water filter if you choose to use that. Um, otherwise, again, nice big compartment here. Nautilus water system. You got your TV hookups. You got an outside spray port and shower there. Nice little easy access to run your cords up through right there. And then there's a black tank flush as well back behind that. So nice setup there. Um, under the front, of course, typical fifth little storage under the front. Uh, this does come with a turning point trail air pin box if you're towing with a short bed truck. That comes in handy. You know, if not, no, no worries. Just leave it how it is and you'll be fine. And the front cap, that big, you got a uh, LED light strip in it. I didn't turn that on. Sorry about that. Forgot to do that. And then you got the kind of some updated decals from what I've seen. Um, very sharp decals there on that front cap as well. So uh, this does have, oh, electric stabilizing jacks and electric front jacks as well, as you can see. So 2021 BS Rockwood Ultralight Fifth Wheel by Forest River. Uh, it's a double slide, short unit, but it does have a bed slide. So very unique, 50 amp service, lots of storage, theater seats, and that's here at Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky.